<laughs> we are good. Hey. Everyone is coming here, in. Here we are. All right. New work development. Got the yes. technology. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you. We're here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This it's five o'clock. I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm start talking. It's five o'clock. It's this is Watch Me Work. We are hosted by New Work Development at the Public Theater. So we give love to New Work Development at the Public Theater. I'm Ritha and Joey. I'm Ritha, you're the director of New Work Development. You wanna wave to everybody, introduce yourself. The fabulous I'm Ritha and she's, uh, you want anything you wanna say? I, I will just say hello everyone. I'm so happy to join you. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I joined the public about a year and a half ago, and it's been such a joy to be part of Watch Me Work. Um, given that I used to, I used to watch walk Watch Me Work from other places and spaces. So excited, excited for this journey we get to take. Thank you, thank you. And Zoe Zon has her hands on the controls to make sure. Yes. I'm I'm here. My camera is frozen, so you get my lovely frozen face. Um, but uh, but I'm here, and I'm I'm very um, happy to to be here. And uh, yes, uh, if if you see my face this way, I, I my face does move, but my camera is not being cooperative. <laughs> Fantastic. We love you. We love you. We love you. Okay, so we're gonna do what we always do, which is we're gonna hang out. And we're going to work together. And then uh, I'm going to take questions from you about your work and your creative process. The emphasis is on you and your, um, and I'll uh, do my best to answer your questions while we don't have time in this hour to talk, uh, to uh, have you actually share your work. We do have plenty of time to talk about your work and your creative process. So if you have questions like how to get started, how do I finish? How do I stop? What do I do next? Those kinds of questions. And you'll be surprised. I'm always surprised, and 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 my spirits are, are lifted because I realize that that some questions that some person might have are questions that we all share. So uh, please, you know, don't be shy when it comes time to question time. If you have a question during the question time, which will come after the 20 minutes of work time, uh, Zoe or Amrita will tell us how to get in touch. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, upon um, our time of question and answer, if you could all please use the raise your hand button, then I will, um, me or Amritha will call on your name. And at that point, you are welcome to unmute yourself and ask the question, please. And thank you. Um, raise the hand button. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, we are, I'm going to set my, uh, my timer to 20 minutes. And we're going to get started. Here we go.
Okay. Here we are. We've done some work for 20 minutes, hopefully. And now for the remainder of the rest of the hour, uh, we'll take questions about your work and your creative process. Anybody? Or we can sit in silence. Yes, please feel free to use the raise your hand function and we will be happy to call on your beautiful name. Mm -hmm. Yes, Crystal, please feel free to unmute yourself. Well done, Zoe. Hey. Hey, Crystal, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, it's, it's good to see you. How's it going? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> it's been crazy, you know. Um, uh, well, one, congratulations on everything that's been happening with you. Um, I, I didn't know I, I had surgery in my shoulder and I, um, it was my second surgery and I had no idea that watch me work was happening through the summer and oh, yeah. I, I was, the entire summer. I, I, I was so bummed. I literally just found out like before finding about this one. So I missed out. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it's so great to see you now. How, which show, which shoulder and the right one. Were you like, were you like throwing a punch? What were you doing? <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that. It it was in a boxing class. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. the wrong punch, and it it kind of went zoop, and then it went through here, and uh, It's been about like three years of like pain and surgery, oh. and more pain, and then another surgery. So now oh, I'm in physical so therapy. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. I I can still write. So there you go. <laughs> these work you know yeah, right right there yeah. you go yeah and and um we're looking at colleges for my daughter congratulations so she's uh she's growing and congratulations does she want to go somewhere uh near home no <laughs> she wants to be in california like oh wow there. okay yeah so yeah so there's been a lot going on wow, um, that's exciting but yeah, thank you. Um, so um, I am starting a, a new play, writing a new play. Uh -huh. I'm about eight pages in, um, and um, it's not it's not based on a person, but the personality is based on a person. He already knows. I, oh. I'm writing it for him. Um, oh. Yes, he's about. He's a great friend of mine. He's about eighty four years old or something. Wow. Oh, fantastic. He's like, got so much life in him. He's so funny. Uh -huh. um, he makes me laugh. He brings me lots and lots of like laughs. And um, I was like, you, there needs to be something for you. And okay. yeah, so I, I was thinking about like, you know, what could a scenario be? And so basically I have him as like one of the, well, the oldest nurse uh -huh. in a hospital oh and, great and so that's like so it's a comedy um <laughs> um and and so like that's that's the setup uh -huh. um, my struggle is um i want it to be a comedy you know i want it to be funny um i want it to really um capture who he is as a person which is hilarious but also caring and heartwarming um I'm having trouble um, getting that on paper. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble getting his sense of humor, uh -huh. and sense of humor. Um, I also am not, I'm not, I don't know how to, to write like, like one-liners. He, he's got a comedy that's from like a time that I wasn't around and like, it's hilarious and it's, you know, timeless. But I don't have that. Um, I I don't have that imagination. I don't have that. It it just doesn't come to me. Um, so I'm I'm trying to figure out like what what can I do or what how, what should I be doing to capture. I think I can capture him as a person, but I can't capture the, his humor. 
um his like his jokes per se right ha huh. so these so these here's an idea okay um, uh this is great because i was recently recently like for three hours ago hanging out with a, a friend of mine who's a medical doctor and who knows a lot of medical doctors who like to write and we were talking about ways in which we could you know any would talk to them about they but they write about their patients and she this doctor was like mm, that's kind of sus in my opinion i'm like yeah she's like because they never give their patients any credit for the story. So here's just an idea. Maybe he's your friend, right? Yeah. What about like sharing authorship? Oh, that way, like you could get his one liners. They're his, you know, like yeah. written by you and him or him and you or written together. Well, however you do the byline, I don't know. That's for the lawyers to decide, but yes. you know, written by you and him. And then you could hang out with him and you could like kind of interview him. And, 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 and then you, you know, you take the, the material of the things he's saying and then you kind of zhuzh it into a dramatic form. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. but it's material. So you totally give him credit. Okay. Would that be maybe fun? That would be loads of fun. Um, would I he maybe like that. Would he like it? I would I would have to ask him. Yes, of well, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, you wouldn't instead of like sneaking in every time you hang out, you got your phone on on the side table. You know, no, we're not talking that. We're talking like above board. Yeah, you know? that's definitely something I hadn't thought about. I could definitely see that. I I haven't really done a co-authorship of a of yeah. a work before. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would be different if you were both like, you know, writers and, you know, getting together to write about some third thing that you're both are thinking, but this is kind of, you could say his story, you know, and then you, you make it into a, a play like, um, what was her name? I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Emily Mann. There's a play called having our say in which Emily Mann or Mann, uh, collaborated with the Delaney sisters, two elderly, fabulous women. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, 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 they, and, and, and while Emily is the awesome playwright and wrote the play, it was it's very much their story. It, it, their story had appeared in a, in a book already, but I think she uh, saw it more as a collaboration, I think. But it, anyway, you and your friend. Okay. Could be fun. Yeah. And if he's not into that, then we'll think of something else. Okay. Okay. I like it. Because then he could tell you all his one-liners, you could just write them down. Yeah, I, I like that idea. <laughs> okay. okay, thank Great. you. Sure, sure. Yay. Great question. And really a new a new way of writing for you. You, you might co be collaborating with a friend. That'd be fun. Yeah. Anybody else have a question? Yes, Jonathan, please unmute yourself. Thank you. I happen to be back. It's it's hey. been a while. <laughs> great to see you, Jonathan. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. Very happy to be here. Um, so I'm starting on a new project, a new play, uh -huh. um, which is my first, my first two hander, uh -huh. like baby's first two hander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it's about historic figures, um, <laughs> which has so far been a really cool experience. And I felt I felt moderately in control as much as I could be um, uh -huh. throughout the process. Uh, but I feel like I'm beginning to hit that that wall with a two hander where you have that moment where you're like. And then such and such comes into the room with the whatever. Um, so I'm I'm just in that moment of struggling with that. And there was a part of me at one point that wanted to allow myself to just go with that if random person just happens into the room. Um, but I just felt like the, the nature of the play and the figures involved just feels like it wanted it for me, it wants to be um 
a two-hander, but I'm trying to now get past that that wall or that block that feels like how do I keep these two people engaged with each other for um and I'm doing a lot of hand gestures, sorry. Okay. But, yeah. okay, it's it's a two-hander. <laughs> it's a two-hander. Oh my God. Uh, that was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. well that's, that's my job. Um <laughs> Um, so, okay, so you, you a, a two-handed for everybody, you know, uh, it's a two-character play. Am I I'm understanding you correctly, Jonathan? Yes, you're talking about it. So um, you've got your two characters doing things, and then you hit a, oh, oh you said a wall where you're like, now what? Mm -hmm. Do they have to be on stage the whole time? I mean, there are moments when there's one on stage and the other is off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so now you were like, you you got to feel it's some other person walking to the room, some third person. Is that correct? Yes, but I'm really trying to push against that because I just That's I okay. really you know what I mean and and uh, yeah, yeah yeah I'm just trying so hard to push against that. Um, I heard no, I I hear you or 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 well, let's just say embrace the the two hander. Uh -huh. Just like dig deeper into the two hander. Okay, so so you. you you don't want the 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 third person to come in the room, so don't let him in the room. But then you're like, well, what what do we do next, right? Is that what right. you like? Is that... Yeah. But what else could you do? Well, this third I... person are they are they gonna like uh ch change the vibe? I mean, are they significant? Do, 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 either of those characters know this third person? Within the world of the play, yes, they would. Although I'm really not, I, I I'm not even really too sure on who that third person would would be yet. And although I just said they would know that person, but I think that within the type of world they live in, they would know that person. But um, and when you when you ask the question about the extent to which the the third person would shape or impact um the story or change it in any way um i think that there is a, a possibility possibility that they could but i also feel like some it's like that weird moment when you're, when you're in that kind of ambiguous state where you don't have quite all the information, but what you do believe that you know is that they could change the story, but in a way that's actually in a disservice to your two main characters in the story that that you want to tell. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. So what about if the... What about if they were just like worrying about the third character? Like, for example, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, there are two characters in a room, right? So mm -hmm. so there's a door in the room, right? Yes. The door. I think there's two doors. There's two doors. Two doors. Okay, great. So Anywhere there's, there's so, yeah. So so one of the doors, the the third character might come through, right? Mm-hmm. And say right now to your, which is why you're asking the question, they're on the threshold, right? They're about to come in. Their hand's like about to touch the doorknob, right? But, but you don't want them to, right? So like roll them way back. Like what if they, because okay. what if it was like, a, just, just bad writing, a bill collector. Uh -huh. A bill collector's a walk in the room, right? Oh my God, you don't want a third character in your play. So put the bill collector like in the next week. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that the two can start talking about the problem of the impending arrival of the bill collector. The bill collector. <laughs> and maybe, you see what I'm saying? I see. I love it. Yeah. So you have a third character, you have their sort of impending presence. Like they'll be here next week. But they're not there now, and it gives the two characters something to do until yeah. you think of something else for them to do. Does that make like sense? No, or got it, or whichever. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. No, that makes total sense. Yeah. yeah. So you just like make it not a person, not an introduction of another character, but the introduction of another problem. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. Right. And there can be lots of problems introduced or issue, not issues, but problems, things, you know, you know, there can be, you can introduce lots of things that they're worried about or concerned about without right. actually having a person walk in the room. Right. Right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. You know, it's Monday. It's Monday. Four more days to go. <laughs> Four days in what? Oh, the week? Oh, yeah. No, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hopefully, more, hopefully we got more than four days. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it's Monday through you know, Friday. I'm, you know, I, I certainly, you know, intend, you know, beyond that. But, but Friday is, yeah, you're like my son. He calls it Friday. Friday? Um, <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Friday. It's Friday. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, it's money. It's money. Money. Question the answer to all questions today is yes. It's money. Money. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good question. good question, Jonathan. Really good question. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, Larry. Yeah. Please unmute yourself. Hey, SLP. Hey, Larry, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. I um, uh, at the end, I think of the last session, you mm -hmm. had advised someone, I think, in the group that they they were celebrating that they had kind of finished their work, and you were sort of like, it's ready to pitch. And I remember getting off the session and thinking, I wonder what, what, what do you think makes a good pitch? And I just uh, was curious about that. I know there's lots of variables, and um, uh huh, uh huh. I was just interested to hear what your thoughts were about the qualities of a good pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great question, Larry. Because a lot of us, yeah, we write things and then we have to, we have to pitch them to our friends or other actors or artistic directors or producers and, and people to get them interested and excited in our work. And sometimes if our work is longer than a page, you know, uh, it helps to, you know, if our work, if our play is 90 pages or our novel is 300 pages, it, it does help. Our screenplay is 120 pages. It does help to have a pitch, a, a way, an elevator pitch, like you can ride an elevator up 12 floors and explain the whole thing in, in that amount of time. I think what makes a good pitch, great question, Larry, is um, um, enthusiasm. I think that's that's a really important thing. Uh, if I can, if I'm enthusiastic about my, my new screenplay, then I can convey that enthusiasm because enthusiasm is often contagious. Um, I think also a, a great pitch is just clarity of story. You don't have to tell every single nook and cranny in your in your uh, in your story. You know the ba the basics. Also, maybe what makes a good pitch is the personal connection. Why you wrote the dang thing. You know that th those three things help. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna actually join uh, ask Amritha on on this uh, call this question, Larry, because Amritha's the head of new work development or whatever. I'm sorry, the name of you. No, you're right. That's Please. that's it, SLP. <laughs> okay, okay. But what do you what makes a good pitch? You hear a lot of pitches, I'm sure, every day. I do. No, I I love this question too. Thank you, Larry. And and I agree with everything you said, SLP. I think those three elements around. Um, the personal journey that that a writer has had with the work is is deeply meaningful to hear enthusiasm and a synopsis of the story uh the the other thing that i will offer is i love in a pitch to hear which sometimes can go into those parts of it um why do you need to tell the story now what about this present moment is really connected to the storytelling and how it needs to live and breathe on the page and on the stage. Um, so that's always something I, I get excited about hearing. 
that's a great thing to add. Uh, and I want to ask, um, Zoe, could you put those four things in the chat? Because yeah. maybe that would be super helpful for everybody. So, you know, like, uh, you know, four ingredients of a great pitch and just everybody know those aren't the only four ingredients that make a great pitch. <laughs> there, I'm sure there are many others. I love that. The relevant, why, why now? Why, why, what's going to draw an audience to uh, this story now? Um, and, and I would also say what, you know, already, Larry, none of those four elements um, are more, are more important than you having actually uh, done the work on the script. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. So you've done the work and you're, and you're, and you're ready to pitch, then these four elements are really going to help it find the, the right artistic home. Um, That's great. So, great you. question. I am. Um, uh -huh. I, I was thinking about it because I had, um, you know, I think I, when we, when you and I first met was at ACT many years ago. And I remember people coming in to pitch to Carrie Perloff all the time. And the thing that used to get her goat was people would come in and they would have all this enthusiasm and idea about their project, but they'd know nothing about ACT at all. Or, wow. you know, they hadn't done any research or why, you know, why are you pitching here? And so um, great. I'll just add that to the list, which is, mm -hmm. you know, great. Why, are you great. Pitch, why are you pitching to the person you're pitching to? Mm, yes. Right, right. Know your audience. Yes, that is a great addition, Larry. Yes, 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 yes. Why would that theater? Yes. What makes the, the institution you're pitching to a wonderful home for your work? That's really great. And that works for, you know, screenplays, TV shows uh plays novels you know all kinds of things that's a great great addition larry thank you thanks for answering the question it's great to get like a collection of points of view on that great thank you thank you uh so grace had uh their hand up as well so grace please unmute yourself um hi um <laughs> Oh my God, I'm going to try my best like not to cry right now, just because I really look up to you so much as a person, SLP, like, I just, wow, I mean, um, but, you know, unfortunately, this is like a, a very like emotional question as well. And so I'm just really just trying to ground myself and like, just calm down. But um, but yeah, I recently got into um, an argument with someone that I uh, potentially was going to work on a creative project with a, a student film uh, with. And I was really just sort of disgusted by just the way that they talked about um, a really serious issue um, as if it was just some kind of like philosophical moral thing and it, it didn't like you know affect like real people like you know it was just in a way where sometimes it feels like you know people maybe they think too much about uh, stories and philosophy not understanding like you know, there's real people even behind the stories that people write. But anyway, I, it just made me feel so uncomfortable. And I asked him like, and I was like, why do you even like make movies if you talk about these things like this way? Like this is like real like lives. And a lot of times I really feel like, you know, maybe I, I'm not really meant to be a writer. And because you know, just because of a lot of things, but one of it is just feeling so worried about kind of like losing myself and caring so much. And I write because I, I, I really love people and I really care a lot about the world and, and, you know, ancestry and all of those things. And I even like imagine the characters I write as real because they come from somewhere. And I worry about sort of losing myself in that process and my work being institutionalized and, you know, that being like co-opted to, you know, just further dehumanize people or feeling like I need to sort of sell out, but more so in a, you know, grander way. Like, I don't know, like, I just get really worried and like the whole thing just really scares me. It makes me not even like, I like, we were just talking about pitching now, like sometimes I don't even know if I, even want to begin to even 
do that just because of I guess my convictions and then I also think maybe I I'm just being too dramatic and and I don't know I feel like this was a bad question um okay <laughs> I'm just gonna end it here oh that's great it's great for, for, I mean thank you so for being so open and for talking about like where you're at right now it's, it's an intense time I think for everybody and the more we can sort of say hey this is where I really am this is really me in a in an open and kind hearted way it's a real brave thing and I think we all are buoyed by your grace grace and buoyed by your just open heartedness and it's wonderful to hear your question um the the, the first thing a, a friend who talks about uh, uh something that is is more about real people to you and they're talking about it as if it's just a one more headline on the news um that's really difficult to hear it's really difficult to be friends with someone like that you know um um and and um i think uh g giving people grace especially these days is a superpower you know so i'm not saying you need to work with that person i'm not saying you need to uh you know you know whatever thumbs up whatever like give that person lots of likes or whatever not i'm not saying anything like that i'm saying just give them grace um a lot of us out here are doing the very best we can with the tools we have you know and some people uh people get into the arts for lots of different reasons um people get into writing for lots of different reasons most of us are doing the best we can with the tools we have and i think it is uh important to say well this isn't this relationship this collaborative relationship isn't right for me so i'm going to step away from it um but the less we can uh cancel somebody else the fewer people we can you know you get through the day without canceling somebody that's good you can have strong opinions you can say, you know what, I don't agree with you. You can tell them so, um, but just realize that maybe they're just trying to make it in the best way they can. And not everybody is as clicked in as you are. Not everybody is as clicked in as I am. You know what I mean? So, hey, I'm like, hey, you know, um, I'm just, just for, go ahead, go ahead, sweetie. What do you mean by clicked in? I just mean aware, awake you know you know a feeling person some people don't feel as deeply not everybody feels as deeply as you yeah not everybody can, not everybody the root from the heart to the mouth to the head is as is as as defined as as it is with you not everybody can access their their deep feelings like you can you know and that's because of the things they went through and the things that you know what i mean all those things so that's the first thing the more we can offer people grace or forgiveness you know, and I'm not saying condone anything. I'm not saying, you know, it's okay. I'm just saying realize that some people, especially those people who are near and dear to us, are, are probably doing the best they can with the tools they have. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of, it, it, it gets us sort of free out of that um, and gets us back into looking at ourselves and going, okay, so so how do I, how do I make art in this world? Um, because as far as I know, this is the only world we got right now to make art in. So you go like, how do I, how do I keep going? How do I make art in this world? And I think yeah, I just try to get through the day. Like I'm going to do some writing. I'm going to maybe meet a friend. I'm going to talk to some friends. I'm going to surround myself as much as I can with people who are kind hearted and hardworking and who I can have honest conversations with. We might not agree, probably don't agree, but at least they're not gonna like cancel me cause my, cause I think something different from what they think. You know, I think we as a society have lost the ability to uh, speak honestly and candidly about what we really feel if, and, and be in disagreement. We've lost the ability to reach across the aisle. I think that's a real problem, you know? Um, so the more we can do that in our art, you know, the more we can have difficult conversations with people 
and kind of butt heads, but still come out going, I respect that person. They had a really interesting thing to say about something, you know, and so just go, well, you're off my Christmas list or whatever, you know, my, you're not coming to my holiday party ever again. Um, you know, the, 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 the canceling thing is a real, um, something we all, all need to look at. Um, yeah. So, and to make art, yeah, you, you're, you're a sensitive feeling person. You're a human being human. Writing, making art is, the more you do it, the more you'll see. It's a, it's a huge act of courage, you know? Um, and the thing that tells you if you should be doing it is you show up every day and you do it. You know, one person, I could say, keep going, but you got to be going. You know what I'm saying? So I would say, come back here. Um, have you been to watch me work before? Um, just once. Okay. Well, make it then, 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 you know, come back, keep coming back. This is a wonderful community. Um, most of us have, you know, been here for a while. We talk to each other. We share things. Sometimes there are enormous amounts of people. Sometimes there are just a few, but we show up and we talk about process and it's really, uh, helpful and nurturing. So you're welcome to join. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. We just have five, we have four minutes. Um, would oh. anybody else like to ask a question? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Use your voice. Speak up. Use like that. that. Oh, so Raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> My face is in here, but ah. Jay, okay. I just want to know, will we be able to meet for the next um, couple of weeks? Great yes. question. Update on that. Go, go, go. Roll out the week, Zoe. Yes, 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 yes. Um, our next meeting will be November 6th. And then the uh, meeting after that will be November 20th. And then the, the one after that will be the 27th. So every Monday, except for November 13th, we will be meeting in November. And those sign-up sheets should be going out in the next couple of days. So please stay tuned. Great. Thank you, because I enjoy and appreciate these sessions so very, very much. And on the times that we can't meet, I may not say anything when I do meet with you guys. But on the days that we don't meet, I feel it. And I really miss it. So thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Likewise. Likewise. I, I, I started uh, a few a month or so ago, I started the Watch Me Work tip of the week. And I then I realized last week that I'd forgotten to give one. So um, I'll give one next week, though, because uh, I don't have one today. Just well, I, I'll have one. I mean, it's a simple one. I'll give a simple one. Um, you know, in, in the Bhagavad Gita, it says, uh, "No effort is ever wasted. No effort is ever wasted." And that's an important thing to remember. That sometimes we think, "Oh, what good is it? What what I'm doing?" Um, I would just suggest that we show up every day for our work. You know, show up for yourself. That thing you love to do. Um, sometimes it feels like it's the most difficult thing uh, because maybe you have a day job, you have kids, you have, you know, a boss who's who's crazy or toxic or whatever or whatever. And uh, you're the last person on your list. Um, see if you can inch that up a little bit. That's uh, that's not you know, we're taught, you know, don't be selfish, don't be selfish. Um, but I'm encouraging you to think of yourself a little bit. So. And we have two minutes, but we can we can all make funny faces. <laughs> this is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> my son went out. My son, who was 12, uh, we live near Washington Square Arch. My son, who was 12, on Saturday, it was a very sunny day. And he called me after his violin lesson and said, Mom, I'm going to busk. I'm going to play my violin under Washington Square Arch. And he stood there for an hour in the sunshine all by himself and played his violin and made 51 dollars 
So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he can help with the rent. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I mean. Just do your thing. Do your thing. As Emerson said, do your thing so that we may know you, you know, mm -hmm. do your thing. Okay. But we'll see you. We'll see you. When's the next week? Did you next say the week. sixth, right? See you same right. time next week. Same time, same Thanks. channel. Um, Love you guys. See you. Bye. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you.